Look at that stud of a rainbow. Wow. What a beautiful fish. Incredible. He's heavy. He's <laughs> super heavy. Wow. Very nice. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. Um, a very commonly asked question is how much setback do I, you know, use when I'm trolling for trout? And a setback refers to how far are the lures behind the boat or behind the kayak? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different thoughts on this and uh, I'll throw out a couple of examples. But by and large, the rule of thumb is if you're fishing from a power boat, your lure should be about 100 feet behind the boat. Um, if you feel like that's too close, you feel like the fish are extra shy, you might scope it back to 150 or 175 feet. But the, the normal distance back when you're trout fishing is 100 feet. Now in the kayak, I tend to run my lines a little shorter because I'm very stealthy in the kayak. I don't disturb the water very much. I'm very quiet, you know, through the zone. So my typical setback on the kayak is 65 to 75 feet. In fact, the biggest rainbow um, I've ever caught, the biggest wild rainbow I've ever caught, seven pounds up at Lake Elmanor a few years ago, I caught that fish while trolling a fly with a single split shot on the line, and I was exactly 65 feet behind the kayak, going about 1.8 miles an hour, if I remember correctly. So, kayak, 65, 75 feet, ooh, fish on right there. 65, 75 feet back, something like that. That's on a mag lip on the lead core. Um, out of a power boat, make that 100 feet back. And uh, you know, there are some exceptions to this rule get this fish in and we'll get back to setback in a second. Let's land this fish. It's on a gold and orange maglip troll just under the surface. I'm using my lead core rod but I didn't really have any lead core out. I, I had a 50 foot top shot out to the lure so that fish was about six feet deep. He's biting now. Just a pan sized rainbow I'm sure. But sir, we'll lift him aboard and get him on his way. I'm gonna swing him right over here just like that. Right there. Hello sir. Hello, Mr. Rainbow. Well, he wanted that. He's hooked well. There he is. What a beautiful little little planter. We'll get him back in and uh, get back on the troll. There he goes. Off he goes. So setback. I was saying, you know, power boat, standard, 100 feet, kayak, 65 feet, something like that. That fish right there. 54 feet from the kayak. I was just using the top shot. You see that number 50 on there? I have a 50 foot top shot on this one before I get to the lead core and I ran this out to where the lead core knot was right at the tip of the rod. So that fish was 54 feet back um, when you take the leader into account. And he was about probably six feet deep or so, something like that. Now, a lot of times I think we, we overestimate how far we need to be back. And I'll give you a couple examples. Um, I was up at Shasta with Fish Niver publisher Paul Neeland a few years ago. And uh, he was trolling Apex. We were trolling about 1.6 miles an hour and we were catching rainbows. And I was rolling bait. And uh, I was rolling shad. And I was mixing in the occasional um, anchovy tail. And uh, I just rigged up an anchovy tail. I wanted to see if it was running properly. So I just put it in the water, you know, right behind the boat. I dropped it in and sure enough, it started rotating perfectly and uh, I was just about to pull it out of the water and put it out to the side when a rainbow shot right out of the prop wash from the kicker motor and just annihilated that anchovy tail. He was just a pan sized trout, a little bigger than that one I just caught. But the bottom line is that fish was maybe six or seven feet behind the boat and uh, he showed absolutely no reluctance when it, when it came to striking that cut anchovy. Um, another time, this is a story, I wasn't there, um, but this is a story from Paul Nealon. He was up at Hellhole, he was looking to catch some kokanee. Water's very clear up there. And uh, he put on some kokanee gear, he put his line back about 15 feet behind his downrigger ball, he was attached. And uh, he dropped the ball down just a couple feet, and then he started doing something, and all of a sudden, the, the rod popped out of the clip and he got like a four or five pound brown trout. He's all, he told me, man, it's just the craziest thing, Cal. He said, I could see the ball. I could see the gear. And he's all, I know that fish could see the boat. And he could certainly hear the kicker 
but uh, he came up and, and he grabbed that kokanee gear and it was fish on. So, you know, those two fish, two I just talked about, certainly they were willing to come very close to a boat with no little or no fear and grab a lure. Um, other times I've been with guides, Gene St. Dennis on Lake Tahoe, um, that water is obviously very, very clear and his normal setback is 300 feet of eight pound test. Now, I can't argue with results, he catches a lot of big fish, but to me, that seems like overkill. I mean, th think about it. In most of our lakes, including Tahoe, boats, you know, they're a regular part of the environment for the fish. They encounter boats all the time, they hear boats all the time. Water is a great conductor of sound. They can hear boats from long distances. So I'm a little skeptical as to how much a boat or a kayak scares fish, especially in deep water. Now, if you're in shallow water, like uh, we used to troll those shallow bays up at Eagle Lake that were only six or seven feet deep, absolutely. In that situation, you gotta get your gear away from the boat because I've seen fish flare away from the boat. But if the water's fairly deep, say, you know, 25, 30, 40 feet deep, we caught that fish back there over 70 feet of water, I don't think the boat scares the fish a great deal. Especially at lakes where they hear a lot of boat traffic. Lake Shasta in the summertime, for example. I've been right out in the middle of the wake borders and just catching trout after trout, and it wasn't bothering them at all. So, kind of my rules of thumb. Your mileage may vary, but uh, just to sum up, if I'm in a power boat, my standard setback is 100 feet. If I'm in the kayak, my standard setback is about 65 feet. And if you're using lead core, you know, how many colors of lead you're using is really going to dictate how far back you are. Um, for example, if I wanted to get down 15 feet with this rig, I'd run all three colors. That's 90 feet right there. I've got a 50 foot top shot, so I would be 140 feet back. But that's just because I would have to get all three colors of my lead core in the water to get the kind of depth I was looking for. Anyway, that's about it in terms of setback. If you're looking for lead core rods, downrigger rods, spoons, flies, grubs, anything else related to trout fishing, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com. We got what you need. We've got the same stuff you see me using right here on the channel that I catch fish on all the time. And uh, get some of my gear, you'll be yelling fish on in the future. Anyway, I'm Cal Kellogg. You have a wonderful day. I want to thank you for all the support you've given us in 2020, and we're looking forward to bringing you some awesome content in 2021. Thanks a lot, guys, and you have a great day.